We met in the Prime Minister's office. I asked about fears that Greece will eventually default on its debt, despite the financial help it's now receiving. Well, first of all, on the skepticism of whether we can make the changes, I think that's uh, a normal, healthy skepticism, because yes, Greece did have a credibility gap, but that's exactly what we're changing in Greece. And uh, the fact that we've taken these emergency measures has shown our determination and our will. And I would say they do hurt, and I very much understand the protests. Uh, but at the same time, I think people are determined, because of the pain, to say, never again. Let's really make these changes. Let's make Greece a viable economy and a competitive economy. But the Eurozone seems to be under enormous strain at the moment, and many people are saying, um, in fact, you know, an economy like Greece is, is so different to an economy like, like Germany. Do, do you actually see the Eurozone in danger of breaking up at this point? Not at all. And we have been uh, talking uh, amongst ourselves in the European Union at the highest of levels. What is needed in the world, first of all, is more cooperation, more integration in a globalized economy. We see that we need to have uh, close cooperation in order to deal with global challenges. That's why we need more Europe, not less. We need greater integration, not less. We need more governance, not less governance in the, in the economic But yoking field. countries and together seems to be increasing uh, political tension. Say well, this is exactly why we need governance. This is exactly to see where there are disparities, where there are difficulties, where there are institutional gaps, if you like, because we did have an institutional gap. Uh, the Maastricht Treaty, the Eurozone Treaty, did not um, uh, prepare us for a crisis and therefore we had to create an ad hoc solution. When you see situations like thousands of people outside Parliament chanting thieves, uh, swearing at the, at the members as they try and enter, it, it, it just seems that there's a complete breakdown of trust in this country between the governed and, and the governing at the moment. Well, we came as a new government in with a mandate of change. Uh, we were talking about... Uh, a, new, a new government, but an old party, very much part of the system. A very new government and a party that has been revamped. We have made changes. We were in the opposition. I was took, took over to make changes. We had a uh, very strong party platform for change, and we knew what the problems were. We talked about these problems for years as opposition. We were talking about the fact that we have to move away from a clientelistic politics, we have to move away from uh, lack of transparency, we have to revamp the political system for, to be more accountable, and we, have, we are absolutely determined. So I agree with these people that are out on the roads and, and saying, out in the street and saying, you know, we have to change the political system, we have to change these, we have to make, uh, make changes in, in, in governance in our country. That's what we're doing.